lot of information here and help dispel myths and help get truths out. Um, if you, it's crucial to emphasize it's not an airborne disease, it's not a casual contact disease. Again, a, something of a parallel to when HIV and AIDS started and everyone who was here in the city remembers that crisis and remembers all the challenges, all the questions. And then it became clear that it could only be transmitted through direct, intimate contact, bodily fluids, nothing short of that. So uh, I think the bottom line is that the medical detectives uh, seek individuals who may have had that kind of contact from the time when someone actually was in a position to transmit the disease, which means the onset of fever. Short of that, casual contact doesn't uh, allow for that possibility. So for example, in this case, what we know for sure, uh, the medical detectives found four individuals they were concerned about, a fiance, two friends, and a car service driver. The car service driver confirmed and the patient confirmed that there had been no personal contact. It was a internet transaction. No one touched each other. There was nothing. So it led to three people. Those three people on quarantine. But unless we find anyone else, we can confirm direct, intimate, personal contact with bodily fluids, we would not take an additional step towards those individuals because there's literally no way uh, the disease could be transmitted.